The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Our story today is a familiar one. On 50 days of at Passover, the disciples of Jesus and Mary, his mother, were together in the upper room. They are following Jesus' instructions on that day of ascension. Stay together, await the Holy Spirit, and be my witnesses. They would do just that because they believed in the promise. They believed in the midst of their fear of what could be happening out there, chief priests, Jews, Romans, that God would save them, that God would be with them. And so one of the things about it is they contemplated on his passion and death, his resurrection. They had faith. They had the faith that Jesus was a man of promise and that he would send his spirit. And it was calming to believe that God was sending that peace, that peace of the Holy Spirit. They didn't know exactly where it would all go, but they trusted him in his ways. And that was his gift to them, the gift of the Spirit. It's an important thing that to recognize they felt alone and afraid and didn't have an, a certainty of the future because sometimes we feel the same way. But one of the things that we do have is we have the faith in God. The father who said, this is my beloved son, listen to him. Through the gospels we, and readings, we see that God claims us as his own. We have the promise of Jesus to be with us. I am with you all days, even to the end of the world. That we are new creation. And this promise of the Holy Spirit is that he would be our advocate and judge our advocate and our helper, our guide, that we're not going to face life alone. So one of the things we have to recognize and step back and remember is the fact that God comes with gifts. How do we use them? What difference do they make in every day? But if you look at your life, the wisdom to be able to make sense of the things that you think, do, and say. You say the right thing at the right time. To be able to have the courage to stand up what is right. To be able to make, to be understanding in the midst of trials and tribulations. And to be able to recognize you are gifted and everybody has a gift. And maybe if we're gonna be his witnesses, what we're called to do is to be able to encourage other people in their struggles, their pain, their suffering, their aloneness, their fears. We're commissioned to go forth and witness to what we've seen and heard, what God has offered us. So our story today is not dull, but dynamic. It speaks of wind and fire. The disciples preached like never before. Thousands were baptized. And one of the things about it strange it may seem, is back in March, started with ashes. Today, we end with fire. So, you're called to carry that flame, that flame of the Holy Spirit to other people who may never hear or believe, to be able to fire that fire of faith and God's love to others. <laughs> 